Hello everybody, welcome to ChinFat. Here we are. We're going to learn about project files and how that works with Premiere Pro. First off, I'm going to start just by showing you how to create a new project. It's pretty simple. I did show it in one episode uh, previous to this, but I'm going to just quickly show that because I want to show the, the very nature of these project files. I'm going to hit new project here. And Premiere Pro has this new thing, uh, this new kind of uh, look layout here uh, for getting started with a project file. What they've got up here is they've got your project name. If you're starting a new project, you want to type in the project name and then you also want to find a location for it. So, uh, and what I'm going to recommend doing is putting the project file in the same location where you're going to have the media. Create a, a new folder for it. In fact, I can go into, I can go into my Finder here on the Macintosh. Right now I'm in, in my Finder. If you're on a PC, go into your Explorer window. Start a new Explorer window here. And then you can locate the, the hard drive or the location that you're going to be saving projects. I like to have external hard drives so it doesn't eat up all the space on my, on my laptop or the computer that I'm working on. And I'm going to right click in here. I'm going to say a new folder. Put a new folder and I'm going to call this Family Home Video. Not a great project, very nice professional project here. But I'm going to go inside of that there, and there's nothing in here right now. So you probably want to have all your media. Usually when you're collecting media, you'll probably want to have all your media uh, saved in the same location. So I'm going to go to a different location. I'm going to paste my media in this location. And like I said, anytime, if you download music, if you download audio files, you have uh, a variety of di uh, different uh, media that's going to be pertaining to this project, I would recommend putting everything in this folder. And if you, especially if you download, move those files over from the downloads folder into this uh, folder location. That way when, uh, when you're finished, you take the project with you. That way if you take this, uh, your hard drive somewhere else, you put it on a different machine, open it up, all your media is going to be there and it's not going to be dis disconnected. So I'm going to name this Home Video, and I like to put the name Project on it so it's easy to recognize this as a project file. And now I'm going to change uh, locations here. I'm going to go to Project Location, and I'm going to hit, it has some recent locations that I've used, but I can, I'm going to go to Choose Location, go to my hard drive, go to that new folder there, and I'm going to choose this location, and it's going to save that. And once again, I recommend putting video and other media inside their own folders, named like, uh, yeah, like video or audio or whatever media you're doing, if you're organizing them by date, if you get more complex. I'm going to hit choose and choose that location. So two things I've got here is the name of the project and the location. Be very conscious of where you're saving those things so you can easily find your project files later on. Now with Premiere, they do have this new import option. I kind of don't like, like using that yet. I like really just kind of going through and, and finding the locations where I want to choose my media. And also, if you choose this automatic uh, Im media import when you're creating your project here, it's going to create a timeline automatically for you and put all your media in it, which I don't like either. So, But I will go through that in a future episode. So right now I'm just going to go down and hit create. And one thing that we have over here on the side on import settings is it's got create new sequences. This will create a new sequence based on your media settings if you import media. So right now since I didn't import any media, it did not create a timeline for me. I will have a future episode on importing media, but I'm going to quickly import media. I hit command I or control I on a PC, go to my hard drive, go to the location, and I can select this folder and hit import and it will import my media. And there's my media right there. But like I said, right now we're not concentrating on on importing, so I do want to talk about um, these project files. Now that I've imported media, one thing that's important to do is every now and then you want to hit uh, Command S or Control S on a PC, and that's going to save your project. It will update your project file with any change that you made. If uh, if I didn't hit Command S and my machine crashed and I opened this back up, my progress will will have been lost and my media will no longer be there. So you want to make sure that you're updating your progress that you're editing every now and then. I, I just get used to hitting uh, Command S or Control S like every two or three minutes just so I update my progress and save the project file. Now let's do a change here. If I, if I uh, create a timeline here, drag a clip into a timeline there, and now we have a timeline created. Let's grab my timeline out of here. And we've got, let's rename my timeline. So I've done a few changes here. And we go look at my project file that I've saved right here. It says to, it was saved today at 11.49. It is now 11.50 a.m. And the last change that I did was 11.49 a.m. If I quit Premiere Pro and I don't save any of these changes here, that project file is not going to contain that, that timeline that I created and any changes that I've done in the time, timeline, it will not save those changes that I've done in the last minute. So what I want to do is just hit once again, Command S, it saves, and then I go, or Control S, and it saves. Now I go back and look at this. Now 11.50 in this project has now changed and is updated to the new time. So those changes have been added to that project file. If you do some changes, let me just do like a trim here or something like that. Uh, get rid of my audio there or something like that. So I've, I've done some changes here, added a new clip to the project, and we've got some changes here. If I want to quit the software and I haven't saved my changes yet, I can hit Command-Q or Control-Q on a PC. 
and it will bring up this message saying, hey, you have some changes that you've made. Do you want to save these changes that you just did uh, upon closing the software? If I say yes, it will update those changes. And now look, it's been saved at 11.51, 11.51. So this is updated to the most recent uh, changes that I've done. Now, when you close this, you can just basically go to your Finder or your Explorer and double click on your project file and it will open up that project. It'll automatically open up Premiere. And there we go, the same project that I left off on when I closed it, I saved the changes and everything is, is, is there now. Now a little bit about, about the nature of these project files. We've got the actual project file right here in my folder and I've got the, the, the media right there. Be very aware that, let's look at this right here. Look how big this file is. It's 42 kilobits, which is really, really uh, small. It's a very small project file. Basically all this is is a document telling the video what to do. Keep in mind that this video is not attached to this. I've got my video that's in here and I've got my project file that's right there. This project file is simply telling this video, this video footage what to do. So if, I, if you take this project file and you email it to somebody and somebody else opens that up on their system, it's gonna open up and it's gonna tell you that your video is missing because they do, unless they have the video footage available. To demonstrate that, I'm gonna put this video on, I'm gonna put this project file onto my desktop here and now I'm going to disconnect this hard drive right here. I will eject it. So it, has, it no longer has access to that video. So now it's just a standalone project file where it's not, a, and, and the media is not to be found because the hard drive is now disconnected from the system. If I double click on this and start up this, start up this project file in Premiere Pro, it's gonna give me this message here. It's gonna say, I don't know where the footage is that, uh, that this file is connected to. Once again, the media does not get added to the project file. That small project file just tells the media what to do. It is separate from the media. So just keep that in mind. That these project files do not contain the media. And if you try to open it up again, it's going to tell you that your footage is not there if it can't find the footage. So you can search it. Right now I don't have it because it's not plugged in. It shows the last location where that was located. And right now my hard drive, that hard drive right there is disconnected, so it's not gonna find it. I can hit offline all if I want to, and then it just brings up this little red dis disconnected file. Now to close a project, you can go and right click on the tab. Here's the project tab. They have other uh, tabs up here in, the, in this window. By default, this is usually under the, the uh, edit layout here. Editing layout well, so it looks like this and puts this window down here. So you can right click on this project window here and you can say close project. I really recommend don't save it if everything's disconnected because it will save it as disconnected media. And then you have to go back into these folders and manually reconnect everything. So I'm going to say no, don't save that project file. Now I'm going to reopen Premiere Pro. And since that project file was disconnected, it is no longer, it is not here in the recent anymore. So I have to go to hit open project and now I can navigate to that specific hard drive, go to the folder and select that and hit open that project file. And there it is. Now the last thing I want to show is when you first open up Premiere Pro, if I don't want to go to my hard drive and double click on the file, if you just open up Premiere Pro and your hard drive is plugged in, it's going to bring up a list here of recent projects that you've had open, that you've worked on uh, recently. Like I said, if that hard drive is disconnected, it will not have that project file available because it's not reading it from the hard drive. Or you can actually just go up and hit open project and navigate to the project file itself. And last thing I'll cover here is while you're inside of Premiere Pro, if you want to start a new project, you can. You can go up to File, New Project. Just keep in mind, and a lot of people don't realize this, that if you create a new project, it's not going to close your previous project. So if we go in here and we name a new project, something like Hiking Video Project, you choose a location for it. Go to the same hard drive. I'm going to create a new folder. Just call it Hiking Movie. I don't have any media in there yet, but I can hit Choose, and it saves that as the location, that's the name, we hit create, and it's created a brand new project here. Notice I still have a timeline over here, but that is referencing this project right here. So I have these, uh, each new pro each project that you have open here are going to say project right before it. It says project, and then it has the, then it has the name of the project right there. There's project, I have no media in here yet, uh, but that's the name of the project. Be very, very careful if you're creating new projects that you know of other projects are open because if you're importing footage, sometimes you might import it into the wrong project and then close that project later on. So just make sure that you're working on the right one. I like to have just one project open at a time unless it's in a special circumstance. So once again, I can right click on this home video project here and close that project and then go to my project hiking video and start my new project and I don't have any other project files open. If you want to go, make this window go full screen, you can do that by hitting tilde. It's the uh, tilde, the squiggly key above the tab key on the left hand side of the keyboard. And I can see all these tabs now here and see that there are no other project files open, just my hiking video project. Cool, well that's it for this episode. If you have any questions, please post them and thanks for watching.